one of the most important things on any home is that exterior curb appeal. To me, when people pull up to the house, you want to kind of say, hey, this is who we are. This is our family. This is our home. With that, whether that's the color, the texture that you choose, your landscape, a lot of that can kind of tell that story. Is it related to Minty Green, the project behind us? Not only did we want this house to be able to be brought to modern times and to really then be able to stand the test of time in the next decades to come, we really wanted it to elevate the entire community. The exterior used to be a wood shingle. I'd say about half of that wood shingle was rotted. It was the idea of how do we preserve the look of this house but bring it back to life. It's amazing. We were so excited to buy Minty Green because we had really been trying to get this project for over a decade. And that wood shake shingle for us, we wanted to replicate that feel and that texture, but we knew it had to be a hardy product because we wanted to make sure that this was going to be a low maintenance existence for the future homeowner. When they started installing these shingles, it was immediate. You could see that drastic transformation. The paint is baked onto these shingles, so we knew when we set Mini Green up, we were gonna set it up right for long term. James Hardy has always proved that quality really comes first with their company, and we know that when we put their product on a project's facade, that we can walk away knowing that that house is gonna be in good shape. Oh my gosh, you know who those are. They yes, are jo Joanna and Tip. Yes, it was. <laughs> Joanna and Chip Gaines talking for James Hardy Siding mm -hmm. about how great it is. She actually, what they're going on to talk about here is she curated a collection for them oh, of okay. her boring colors. As you know, she only uses the same like five colors <laughs> in everything she does. Yeah. Um, I like to think that we are rebounding. We are going away from cottage style now, mm -hmm. which they've made so like popular. Popular. Yeah. I think we're kind of going away from that. Um, I like to think so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> enough with the white on white. Yes. <laughs> but uh, it is great for Hardy Siding because one of the things Hardy Siding does is it can imitate vintage looking um, mm -hmm. old type clapboard, which is what they're talking about. Yeah. Here. So, um, you gotta, you gotta love them, even though they fooled everyone into moving to Waco. <laughs> Wait, how did they do that? Because they, that's where their show's based, oh, in Waco. Oh, okay, okay. So they, like, fooled people into thinking Waco was a nice place to live. It's, it's, Have yeah. Have you been to Waco? I think maybe, like, once in my life. <laughs> you, you know, like, two big things have happened in Waco, other than them. Actually, three. So, like, the first Dr. Pepper factory was there. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can wow. still tour it. Um, there was a, the government massacred a bunch of cultists in the nineties. Uh, in Indians. Waco? Oh. Yeah. That was, <laughs> that was literally. Oh my God. It was literally yeah. called Waco. Wow. Um, there's a good, good show about that actually. Um, but yeah, that was David Koresh. Have you ever yeah. heard of him? Um, I don't think so. But yes. But yeah, yeah, he led the Branch Davidians and then the government murdered all of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, that happened in Waco. <laughs> the third thing was in like 2013 or 2012, I can't remember the year, there was a massive fertilizer explosion in Waco and it caused such like a mini earthquake that they mm. felt it all the way in Dallas. Oh my God. Yeah. Jesus. So wow. that, all of that... <laughs> Chip and Joanna Gaines were like, we're going to build a paradise here in, in Waco. In Waco. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's so, that's so right. <laughs> yes. I have been to the silos and it's just a store. Yeah. Everyone talks about how awesome it is. It's just a store. I don't know what to say. Yeah. That's about all I have <laughs> to say about that. We severely digressed. Uh, hi, I'm Mary. And I'm Isis. And we're the home girls. And today we're talking about hardy sighting. I feel like this is a really random topic, mm -hmm, but, yeah, but it sure. kind of isn't. I mean, there's so many parts of a home that could be covered by hardy siding, obviously the, the siding, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but also the trim, soffit, and the framing of the home can be done in hardy siding as well. But before we get into that, I want to explain something that's a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Hardy siding is fiber cement board, but not all fiber cement board is hardy siding. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I was wondering too, because when I was doing research, I was like, they're clashing. I'm like, yes. So hardy siding is a type of fiber cement board. I feel like my microphone is always in my face. <laughs> um, I'm going to scoot this way, see if that's better. Um, hardy siding is a type of fiber cement board, but not all fiber cement board is hardy siding, meaning there are generics mm -hmm. and other types of fiber cement board 
Um, and I believe asbestos at one time was even considered a fiber cement board. Yeah. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. Um, so Hardy uh, is just like the famous type of fiber cement board. Mm-hmm. Just how we call like refrigerators fridges. Even yeah. Though that's for the brand Frigidaire. Yeah. Or how British people call vacuums Hoover's. Yeah. You know, it's the same idea. A lot of people just call fiber cement board hardy siding, even if it's not. It's kind okay. of like a colloquial, colloquialism. But there is a difference, actually. Okay. You can have true hardy siding or just fiber cement board. It's up to you to decide whether one is better or not. Mm-hmm. But there is a kind of a difference. Okay. Um, so that's a bit confusing. A lot of people interchange, like I said. So even sometimes home inspectors will call fiber cement board hardy siding. Yeah. Um, Sometimes they just assume it's hardy siding automatically if it's fiber cement board. Yeah. It's just a kind of a weird industry thing. Yeah. Um, so I say on that very confusing note, let's start with the history. Yes. And I'm going to kind of split the history up into two sections. I want to talk first about hardy siding. Mm-hmm. And then I want to talk about um, fiber cement board. Yeah. And then I'm going to kind of merge them. Okay, cool. Okay. So we'll start with Hardy Siding. The James Hardy Company, which is where Hardy Siding comes from, yeah. was established in 1888 when a man named James Hardy left his family's tannery in Scotland and immigrated to Melbourne, Australia, which is a very common thing that the Scottish did. There were a lot more job opportunities. Scotland, um, after the British murdered all of them, mm-hmm. it took a long time for them to recover. Even we're over 100 years since uh they were all murdered by the British, and even at that point, they're still suffering. Yeah. So a lot of Scottish people immigrant to Melbourne, or Australia in general, mm-hmm. and he started a business importing oil and animal tanning, animal hide tanning products, and that has nothing to do with siding. Yeah. So why are we <laughs> calling it hardy siding? He was joined in Melbourne in 1892 by another Scotsman named Andrew Reed, who became a full partner in the business in 1895. Hardy retires in 1911 and sold half his company to Reed, whose family expanded the business from 1911 to 1995 when um, his grandson retired. And then I'm, I'm, the business kind of like goes up for sale again. Yeah. So whatever reason, even though Hardy started this importing, exporting company and Reed took it over, each consecutive person that buys it just kept the name Hardy. Okay. So it's kind of crazy it evolved from like an import export business of animal byproducts to a siding company. That is crazy. Yeah. How, how do you go from that to that? So <laughs> random. So <laughs> random. So what about fiber cement board? Yes. So fiber cement board was invented in the late 19th century, so we're back in the 1800s, mm-hmm. by an Austrian named Ludwig Hatschek. I probably said that wrong. He mixed 90% cement with 10% asbestos Mm -hmm. uh, with water and ran it through a cardboard machine, forming strong, thin sheets. So originally, the reinforcing fiber were asbestos and were used as siding in houses due to the fact it was fire resistant, referred to our asbestos Mm -hmm. episode from Mm -hmm. last season. Yes. You know, asbestos is like the dream material until you start doing lines of it and then you die. (laughs) Exactly. Um, Of course, by the 1970s, it became widely acknowledged that asbestos not so great for us. Yeah. Um, Especially because it causes mesothelioma. Um, So as... Asbestos gets banned over time, and if you recall, the United States is still actually using asbestos. Um, as usual, we tend to be behind on the times when yes, banning cancer-causing things. Yeah, and then we're <laughs> like, "Why does everyone have cancer?" <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, they started to replace the asbestos part of the fiber cement board with um, cellulose or other fiber alternatives. So again, mm. that goes to it depends on what brand of hardy siding you have and what they're kind of using is that third mixture component yeah um so use of fiber cement boards were then tested so it's even today they still get tested by accredited laboratories to make sure it's 100 percent free from asbestos and other harmful materials such as sepalite or formaldehyde i'm not sure what sepalite means yeah Let's, probably should have looked that up before i it's okay finished my notes ew it that? looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird, yeah. Open. Tell us what it is. <laughs> um, it's known by the in- by in English by the German name Meerschalm. It's a soft white clay material often used to make tobacco pipes. It's hmm. a magnesium silicate. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. 
so it's like a clay yeah it must be bad for you somehow yeah because they don't want it in your fiber cement Mm -hmm. interesting so let's go back now that we've created james hardy and we've created fiber cement where do they meet yes where are they meeting each other so um the james hardy we know and love today was created in the mid 1980s and that is when the company began to introduce fiber cement technology and um they are now exclusively a fiber cement company yeah interestingly when i went to their website i couldn't really find how again where the decision went from import export animal products by products to the decision to move to fiber cement my uh, they don't say that they literally don't yeah say that. they go from like the reed family straight to the fiber cement wow they just kind of left out a big chunk a big chunk from like 1911 to 1980 they just yeah like, oh, jesus no. we just existed <laughs> yeah something. um so the big thing that makes their james hardy's fiber cement board different from your regular fiber cement board is that it's engineered to withstand um a climb like the climate of your area yeah so it's called the hardy zone system and it's broken up into different zones in north america by climate Areas of the continent that experience cool, cooler weather are categorized in zone one to five, while those that experience warmer cli- climates are category- categorized into zone six through ten. Um, so that's kind of where they left their mark on fiber cement. Before, it was mm-hmm. just kind of everyone had a generic fiber cement. Yeah. But Hardy's coming in and saying, no, we need different uh, fiber cement based on different environments. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, now they are the world's number one leading producer and marketer of high performance fiber cement and fiber gypsum building. Um, they have 5,200 employees across operations in North America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and the Philippines. Wow. And generated more than 3.6 billion in net sales during 2002, which is weird because it's still 2002. That is, uh, how do they know? Yeah, I know. How do you, how do you, how do yeah. you know? I, <laughs> the year's not over. <laughs> I need a, I need a footnote citation for yeah. that party citing. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where there's a mystery there. Yeah. At like what point, happened? How did they get from this to that? Um, oh, I actually see where I read it wrong. I said 1911 until 1995. So at some point between 1995. Oh, so it was during the, in the Reed family. Oh, I read my notes wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do this again. Reed took over from Harding, and the Reed family owned it until 1995. So the Reed family, at some point in the 1980s, decided to switch. To switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I read my... I wasn't reading my notes right. I'm still recovering from the queen dying. (laughs) R.I.P. Wearing my my corgi shirt today. I know. (laughs) In solidarity. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes. Okay, cool. It's been a tough weekend. Yeah. Uh, Crazy weekend. Crazy weekend. We all morbed. (laughs) <laughs> it's more of a y'all more. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that's it for me. Okay, cool. I'll hand it to you. So I'll talk about the pros and cons. I, it's probably gonna clash a little bit, you know, because I tried to search for fiber cement and and Hardy and it's th- confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it was confusing. I was like, are they the same thing? <laughs> but yeah, so Hardy board siding is a super durable siding product from the James Hardy company that uh, looks amazing, is long-lasting, and comes with a warranty, a fabulous warranty, they said. Yes, that is, so that's another big difference between regular fiber cement yeah, yeah, board yeah. is this This, this class, fabulous warranty. Yeah, this fabulous warranty. <laughs> it does make it more expensive. Yeah, yeah. So it's made of cement, sand, and cell- cellulose fibers, which combine to create a material to both protect and beautify homes. So what are the pros and cons? Every siding product has pros and cons. Um, but uh, there's a lot of pros with yeah, there Hardy, are a so. lot of pros. And actually, uh, you know, usually we say, oh, it's it sucks because we live in Houston. Yeah. It's one of the few things that don't suck. Yeah, yeah, because like, like you said, the different zones. The climate like, zones, It's yeah. not like a, like stucco, you know? Oh, <laughs> it's God, like, yeah. Yeah, so um, Hardy Board Siding withstands the elements with ease um, and performs its job of protecting your home in spite of its direct contact with the elements so it can withstand rain, hail, High winds, storms, snow, ice, harsh humidity, as we as we know, <laughs> and uh, temperature cha- changes. It resists moisture penetration, saving homeowners the hassles involved in repairs due to rotting, swelling, or warping. So, are you gonna talk about how it can look like different things? 
Um, I don't think that much. Not really. Just that it was really customizable. Yeah. Was so that what that I was going to talk pros, about. And we'll talk about that on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More detail for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a hardy, hardy board siding is beautiful. It gives your home a nice, pleasing aesthetic with its variety of styles and colors. As we saw from Chip and mm-hmm. Joanna. As we saw from Chip and Joanna. It makes your home stand out. It can even look like wood siding, but it's not. So you don't have to be burdened with the high maintenance that wood requires. Yep. Um, hardy board siding also resists pets. Oh, not pets. Sorry. Pests. <laughs> I'm like, why did I Maybe say pets? Maybe pets too. Maybe, yeah, I don't if, know. You know, if you don't want them. <laughs> resist pests, including termites and carpenter ants. It's also woodpecker resistant, so you don't have to worry about the hassles of repairing termite or woodpecker damage. Um, and then of course the warranty, James Hardy fiber cement siding gives homeowners a 30 year non prorated warranty that is transferable. So other siding companies may decrease their warranty coverage on their siding products as the year, uh, as, uh, the years after installation increase, but not the James Hardy company. And that's a huge perk, I guess, for, for people that. So when they say transferable, that means when you sell the house, yeah, you can it, give it to the buyer. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. So if you sell your house and it has hardy siding, they keep the warranty. Yeah. So yeah. Can they renew the warranty? I'm not sure about that. Okay. I, I'm not sure. Um, additionally, James Hardy's uh, Color Plus Technology is what they call it. That's what Chip and Joanna were talking yeah, about. Yeah, uh, is warrantied Thank against you. peeling, chipping, and cracking for 15 years, including labor and materials. Yeah. Um, that's a really long time. Um, and then, of course, it's highly customizable. There's multiple styles of hardy board siding, and so it gives you plenty of options to choose from. So you can match your homes, like whatever architectural yes. style it has, like they talked about in the video, because, yes. yeah, they had that, those wood shingles. They look really weird. The, yeah, so that's kind of like a Cape Cod style. Yeah, yeah. That's what I always associate it with. Mm-hmm. Um, they're just trying to gussy up all those sad houses in that sad town of Wake up. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say this okay the Baylor University campus is actually quite nice yeah yeah okay? yeah that's true I forgot yeah Baylor's over there yeah yeah but um the rest of Waco not so need some work <laughs> they actually got sued by someone who moved to Waco because they saw it on HGTV and then were like oh god there is nothing to do and it's hot as it's bologna. boring <laughs> yeah it's bologna it, it's in the middle it's of not nowhere. that big right no, like it's not that it's, big yeah I think Baylor is the biggest thing, although the Texas Ranger Museum is there and the Dr. Pepper Factory yeah, yeah. Museum is there. Um, but I think Baylor is like the only thing that really happens to it. So, yeah, um, maybe the sports. <laughs> I got does Baylor have I don't know. I don't know I don't, know. I don't I even Baylor's know like really prestigious though, yeah right? I'm like may I think I'm sure they do maybe I don't know <laughs> I, I thought Baylor and Rice were always in a competition. Of yeah, who was more yeah. Prestigious. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's so weird. Wait, I, I know. Texas is weird. I know. <laughs> and then um, another pro is that it's fire resistant. The computer. Oh, it's Chris's. Chris's uh, messages. I, I don't know why. I don't know how he lives the way he lives. <laughs> we won't question it. Won't <laughs> He's going to see this, uh, us roasting him. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, so... Um, Fiber cement siding won't contribute to a fire because it isn't combustible. Other sidings, like you know, like wood, will actually fuel a fire. But hardy board siding gives you and your family the added protection to give you peace of mind in case there is a fire. Um, and then another pro, this you know they say they're expert installation. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Like so. I thought when you got hardy siding, someone just installed it for you. They have apparently they have like preferred contractors. And I don't know. There's about like that. yeah, I don't know about whatever. That. I, don't know. I think actually I know this house has. It might be fiber cement boards. Oh really? It has something. Yeah, something, yeah. some kind of siding, so, some some type of fiber cement. Yeah. Um. So and then another pro is that um it is environmentally friendly because of you know what it's made of, and then. I mean, again, well, like, okay, we'll talk more about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then low maintenance, so there's almost no maintenance uh, required. You, you can literally just use your hose and wash it down. Yeah, don't use, uh, don't power wash it. Yeah. And then, so let's talk about some cons, which, of course, they didn't list many. <laughs> but, uh, so one of the cons is the initial investment. There are so many pros that offsets a con for this siding material, the initial cost, um, hardy board siding is a greater financial investment than yes. vinyl siding, yes. but it lasts longer too. 
So as you consider this aspect of your decision, realize that um, apparently it can last for up to 50 years. Yeah. And I think it adds value to the house. So yeah. If you say like, oh, this house has Hardy, it automatically adds a little more value than vinyl. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not significant amount, but it does yeah, add value. Yeah, for sure. Um, another con is the installation process is longer. So the heavyweight of hardy board siding makes it more challenging to handle than other siding materials. So it is more difficult to install. Um, installation should only be done by James Hardy trained professionals yeah. for the warranty. So the that warranty is, stays intact. That is true. Yeah. Um, and then you, and then another con is possible repainting after 15 years. So, but the warranty does go for up to 15 years, but after, of course, yeah. you might have to paint it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then I also had some pros and cons about fiber cement, but it's honestly pretty, almost the same thing. Um, it has like a long durability. It's made to last long, um, resistance to the elements. It's environmentally friendly, low maintenance and appearance. So yeah. yeah. And then energy efficiency. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. It's, <laughs> this, it's the same. It's almost the same. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is, that is my spiel. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. Nice so, and easy. ECs, would you have a uh, hardy siding or a fiber cement board? Honestly, I think I would just go with the hardy siding. Like, I feel like anyone always wants to go with the name brand. Yeah. You, you know, feel more confident yeah, with the name brand. Like, you want an Apple phone, not an Android. No offense if you have an oh, Android. Come on. No, <laughs> wants, nobody actually wants an Android. Let's yeah. just make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like you know people want the name brand so it's like if it was me i would want the hardy siding yeah they're almost the same but yeah well you know the truth is sometimes you don't get a choice yeah sometimes the builder if you're building a house isn't going to give you a choice which is why i said i think it's hardy siding on this house but then i immediately doubted myself and mm -hmm. thought maybe i just told myself it's hardy siding. yeah yeah maybe it's actually fiber cement yeah board. yeah uh, i need to ask chris because he will know yeah he's the one that will know for sure um all right my turn yes all yes. right so let's dig a little deeper here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is fiber cement board? Let's talk about that for a second. There's different formulations depending on the manufacturer. So one of the things we talked about with Hardy Siding is that climate control, mm -hmm. you know, but each manufacturer is different. The most basic ingredients for all the fiber cement boards are Portland cement, yeah. sand, water, and cellulose. Mm -hmm. We kind of talked about cellulose yeah. replace the asbestos. Uh, the best thing about fiber cement is that can it be shaped in any color in almost any format, as mm -hmm. you mentioned. Uh, what you didn't mention, though, is it can look like vinyl. I don't know why you would. I mean, some people do. Yeah, that's um, so weird. <laughs> it can actually look like stucco. So, you know, oh. of this house, you think it's stucco, right? Yeah. It's actually fiber cement. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Those panels on the side, either side, that's actually fiber cement. Wow. So yeah. it can look. Wow. So as That's you drive cool. out today, look at all the neighbors. It's yeah, all I'm going to look. <laughs> um, on our fronts um, and our backs are stucco. It's stucco, but the sides the are fiber cement. The sides are fiber cement, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, honestly, I wish they'd just done the whole thing in it's fiber, fiber cement. cement right? <laughs> yeah, they should have. Uh, and then as, as Chip and Joanna mentioned, it can look like wood planks mm -hmm. as well. Um, hardy siding, of course, is being the most famous type of fiber cement. Yeah. Uh, you kind of... Uh, did all the highlights and honestly the highlights of hardy, hardy siding are mostly the same as fiber cement yeah um the non-combustible withstand damage mm -hmm. pest proof um unappealing it can last up to 15 years yeah yeah we talked about that um but it is not recyclable so you mentioned it's eco-friendly yeah um, the reason they consider it eco-friendly is because it lasts so long oh really okay yeah. okay it's one of those things where like I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain it. Like if you're doing vinyl, mm -hmm. you're going to need to change it out more often and um, it doesn't biodegrade. So yeah, yeah. hypothetically, it's worse to be changing out your vinyl more often. Yeah, yeah. Because they did say it can last up to 50 years. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah. And then same with wood. So, you know, once wood is treated, we think wood is like this great biodegradable thing but once it's treated it's just full of chemicals so mm -hmm. it really doesn't biodegrade like we want that's it to. true yeah um so yeah hardy siding is more um eco-friendly in that it doesn't off-gas toxins mm -hmm. and it lasts so long yeah you don't have to be throwing it away as much i guess you, you know? still can't recycle it though yeah so it is still a permanent fixture on this earth yeah um so i don't know take it with a grain of salt yeah right um now, of course, why would we want to use fiber cement looking stucco other than actual stucco? Because we live in Houston. Yes. <laughs> because stucco isn't. Yeah. What is that? Season one? 
So I think it is season, season one. one. Yeah. Um, so fiber cement does not crack like stucco. Yeah. It doesn't retain water like stucco. And it doesn't rely on the severe insulation requirements that three coat stucco. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, the insulation, that's where it always goes wrong. Yes. <laughs> and same for EFs, MSV, and ASV. Um, it's just better. It's better alternative. Yeah. And, you know, EFs is this stucco alternative mm-hmm. right we have we've done yeah we, we didn't yeah. i think this season we yeah, did an episode i think we did too um it's been so long yeah um but again it's the idea of like why would you want stucco or these stucco like fiberboard materials when you can just get um i should have said stucco board, like stucco yeah. foam material like eaves when you can just get fiber cement and the answer usually lies in price honestly. yeah it usually does lie in price um it's a lot cheaper to stucco, believe it or not. Oh, than, wow. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So fiber cement board is not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. It's really not. Um, now, there are uh, different types of fiber cement board, and I kind of hinted at this in the introduction. Mm-hmm. Um, it can be called, um, and this is just the different names, it can be yeah. called architectural plank, shingle, panel, trim, soffit and of course frame you yeah can frame a home so it can mm-hmm. really be used in all aspects wow. of the exterior and kind of the interior of your home because you could actually frame your house yeah wow that's uh, that's crazy in- interesting isn't mm-hmm. it um so this is what architectural looks like and Ooh. um this is where you get these stucco styles yeah yeah that's um, exactly but you can also get like. stuff that looks like wood kind of no this is like or it's called seagrass oh and it's like a texture yeah. But do you see how it's like planks? Or yeah. Not planks? It's like panels. Yeah, it's like panels. Yeah. And that's what's on the side of my house. So okay, like okay. panels that look like stucco. Okay, I see. Um, And there's another one. This is called, oh, that's the stucco one. Yeah, that one looks like stucco. That one's clay, which Ooh. kind of gives like an adobe look. Yeah. That's um, pretty cool. To the house, which is a neat. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Um, These are the kind of the stucco. Yeah. There's a couple different types of stucco. They have like fine, uh, grooved and molded yeah mounded what mounded sand mounded, mounded sand which i think is what's on the side of our house okay. is the mounded sand this is the plank <clears throat> and this is the one that kind of looks like wood or vinyl yeah it does so uh the smooth is the one that kind of looks like vinyl siding mm-hmm. although it's party siding yeah. far superior right and oh, then yeah. the cedar mill is what looks like uh wood no oh, yeah it looks just like wood. Yeah, I mean, it's, you wouldn't be able it's to very tell, convincing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you have what Chip and Joanna were using. Oh, yeah, the, they did the, yeah, shingle. the shingle. Yeah, and the shingle looks like wood or clapboard, and it kind of gives the house a colonial or a beachy mm-hmm. look. Um, you can use the staggered edge, um, which is kind of like what they were using, where it looks like almost like broken teeth. Yeah, it does. It? Kind of uneven wooden mm-hmm. shingles. Um, or the straight edge where it's yeah. all unified, but yeah. overlapping to create this kind of built up look to it. Yeah. It's very nice. It is very nice. So many options. I oh know. I know. Then you have the panel and this is a vertical shingle. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can have it look again like, like wood. wood or vinyl. Yeah. Um, kind of looks like clapboard almost. Mm-hmm. So I think it's kind of a neat. Yeah. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Honestly, hardy siding, I see very few faults with it. Yeah. And, and on, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Which is crazy because usually we're like, this is wrong with it. This yeah. is wrong with it. This. Hammering <laughs> home. And now this is the positive. Our one positive episode. Yeah. We're like, it's great. Like, um, get it. <laughs> can be used as trim. So the trim boards around the doors and yeah. the windows, that can be hardy, which is awesome. I mean, yeah. if you think It looks about, so good. Like, yeah. It's very good. Very sharp, mm-hmm. especially against that, um, you know, plank looking yeah. piece there. Uh, you can also use it as soffits, mm-hmm. um, which for those of you who don't know, soffits are kind of the, the material where your roof overhangs your house, your vents, like the your top. soffit vents. Yeah, that's kind of the yeah. material there. Uh, again, that can have their soffits can have a wood texture or a smooth texture. And you can use it to frame the house. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Now, there are some generic brands, um, and I'm not going to name all of them. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, but there is. <laughs> some of the more famous ones are JF Weatherside. Nichiha, 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 Nichiha. Uh, Allura Plysum, Wood Tone, the American Fiber Cement Core, F- uh, Phoenix, and then just like a, a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, like there was never a trademark on fiber cement. Okay. So well, Hardy has the most famous, right? And arguably, mm-hmm. 
some of the most durable. Yeah. Um, but there are plenty of generics. And I don't want you to think that generics are like the dollar store brand. Yeah, I'm sure it's still good. It's and it's more affordable. Good. Yeah. So it's missing. What it's missing is the warranty. Yeah, the warranty. Which I feel like the warranty is just worth it because you don't want to worry about extra stuff you know yeah it's missing the warranty and the climate yeah uh, fancy which yeah. that is a hardy kind of chemical thing mm-hmm. that is kind of their trademark thing, yeah is that climate specialty yeah so um we already answered that question yeah the insulation process excuse me is and i'm not going to go over every step uh, but I will tell you, it's not as complex as uh, stucco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it still has to be done correctly. Okay. So your big thing here, and that's why Party recommends having their oh, they're, contractors yeah, they're um, certified do it. Because they want to make sure it's done correctly. Yeah. Uh, the big thing of that, of course, is moisture. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, although Hardy doesn't entrap moisture, not Hardy, fiber cement board yeah. and Hardy, yeah. uh, doesn't entrap moisture like, um, like stucco, stucco does. Yeah. You still don't want moisture getting behind. Yeah. Um, it's just going to decrease the life of your house. It'll decrease the life of your uh, siding, et mm-hmm. cetera. So the big thing is make sure it's installed correctly. Um, yeah. Which is especially bu- uh, big if you have a new build. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes what they do, what's called over drilling, uh, mm-hmm. where they're putting the nails in the wrong place. Oh. And that's another reason you want a home inspector because they can kind of catch okay. that. Um in this case, how my stucco was applied, it's kind of an invisible application, so you don't see any drill holes or mm-hmm. anything like that. Um, it's implied. It's uh, in big panels yeah. in the house. Um, so it would be inspected mm-hmm. in Texas, and it's just in the generic siding section okay. of our inspection report, Yeah, uh, which makes sense, right? So it's yeah. not like fiber cement board has its own section. It falls under siding. siding. Someone's calling me. It is Chris. <laughs> um, he's going to have to wait. Yeah. Um, and the siding is in the first section of mm-hmm. our truck report. It's actually part F if you want to go look it up online. Yeah. The REI 7-6. Um, what they're going to identify is the type of cladding on a house. So they'll let you know if it's vinyl or fiber cement mm-hmm. or wood or fiber cement or stucco and fiber cement. They're going to make sure it's uh, applied properly. Mm-hmm. And they're going to look to make sure the flashing is done correctly. So pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty basic. Um, and yeah, that is hardy siding. Yeah. It's really nice. Honestly, I think it's very nice. I think it's, um, I think it's a good, isn't that funny? Yeah. I was reading that. I was like, (laughs) is this Chuck Norris? I was like, (laughs) I had put a meme and it's a picture of Chuck Norris and it said, that's not a chin behind Chuck Norris's beard. It's James Hardy side. <laughs> that's funny. Pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I like applaud that. myself for that one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> so dug that one up from Google Images. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like this is one of our more upbeat Yeah, episodes. for sure. Like, I feel like there, there's not a lot of bad to talk about it. You know, it's it seems like a good, a nice sighting. I mean, it looks good. There's not really that many cons. Just mostly like, the, it, the price, price. Yeah, is the, like, the biggest con. I think that's what scares people away. If yeah. someone's like, hey, you could just vinyl your house and it's, it's like, hundreds of dollars <laughs> left. Less, you know. A lot of people are going to choose the vinyl. Yeah. Um, and of course, houses like new builds, uh, some of them come automatically with hardy cement yeah. or fiber cement mm-hmm. board. And that's worked in the price. If you look at those houses that we kind of see through our yeah. office window, those are all fiber cement board. Yeah. Yeah. I can uh, see it. You can see that overlapping shingle. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're hardy siding, but we actually looked at some of those houses. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. They're really small inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's a great siding and really the biggest hurdle and the biggest con is the price. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I can imagine how great a house would look uh, stuccoed with hardy siding, mm-hmm. you know, and you don't have to worry about three coats. Yeah, stucco. I feel like it's it's good because like if you think about it in the long yes. run, like that's what you got to think about. Like you don't want to be having to get your siding replaced and pay more money. You know, it it could be the same amount. You know, if it's, you have to fix stuff. Yeah, so. when the neighbor had st- their stucco redone, it was thirty thousand um, dollars. Thankfully, the builder covered it. But if That's they had hardy siding, they're that part of the house. Obviously, part of the house is, mm-hmm. is hardy siding or fiber cement board. See, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, if that part was fiber cement board, they probably wouldn't have had the water retention that led to the termites. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, and $30,000 is a lot of money. So. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of money. And it's a lot of money most people don't have on yeah, hand. Exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, we live in the, the United States of America. Was mm-hmm. it the average person, like, 
has less than a thousand dollars in their savings account or something like yeah. that. Like it's really bleak. Yeah. It's bleak. It's brutal out here. <laughs> yeah. Um, on that happy note, it's mm-hmm. time for credits. Yes. Time for credits. Our intro video was called Magnolia Home, James Hardy Collection. Siding is crucial to curb appeal. And that was actually a commercial done by James Hardy Siding in mm-hmm. association with Magnolia Homes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a different person. That wasn't Chris this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, our music credit is Kevin McLeod of Incomtech. Our source credit is Wikipedia and the James Hardy Company. And any of my high school teachers who are listening to this would be like, I can't believe she got her source from Wikipedia. But it's a reliable source. Do not drag on Wikipedia. They, actually, they have sources at the bottom. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, actually, when the queen died, they locked her Wikipedia account. Yeah, because people were going to start trolling. People like, started morbid. I've seen that happen on before on Wikipedia, though. Yeah. Like where people. <laughs> people started morbid on her. It's morbid time. It's morbid time. <laughs> Check us out on YouTube at A Action Home Inspection Group Houston, on Facebook, on Instagram at Home Inspector underscore Texas, and on TikTok, you can watch us morb at Houston Home Inspector. Yes. Our next topic is going to be fencing, Ooh. but not like fencing, like fighting. Oh, not the, f- yeah, not the, the little swords. The sword, <laughs> the bendy sword fencing, mm-hmm. uh, fencing on your house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So looking forward to it. That's episode 10. Yeah. Is that our season finale? I think so. Yeah. yeah. What a bland topic for our season finale. <laughs> Fences. Fencing. <laughs> uh, yeah. We were just talking about how this season has lasted five years. Mm, yeah, we were. But like, I feel like it's, the year has gone fast, but, but the, the season, season has, has felt slow. Has felt slow. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll be back in October. Talk yes. about fencing. Uh, so we'll see you then. See you then. See you then. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>